All right, so today we're here with John at One Stop Ski Shop in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, one of the recommended boot fitters for Magpie Gear Review. And now we just want to know a little bit about you, John. So where did you grow up? I grew up back in New Jersey. Cool. Where in New Jersey? <laughs> Lots of different towns. Okay. Want to know them all? No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the Jersey Shore? Yeah, part really? of it. My last uh, segment was the Jersey Shore show. Cool. Right across from Seaside Heights, where they do that stupid Jersey show. <laughs> yeah. My grandmother's from Atlantic City. That's what I was curious. Oh, okay. yeah. Hour north of that. Yeah, totally. Cool. And where did you first ski? <laughs> Madonna Mountain in Vermont, which is now called Smoker's Notch. Right. First ski experience. Did you ski the Poconos too? Yeah. 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 Yeah, we had a ski shop down on the Jersey Shore where you run uh, bus trips to the Poconos. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. And when did you first come to Steamboat? Like, just was it on a trip? No, it was uh, an opportunity to meet with Billy Kidd in 1982, Thanksgiving of 82. Cool. And did you decide right then that you were going to move to Steamboat? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, it took a couple, probably took a day or two for me to decide. <laughs> we were actually headed for Lake Tahoe where I had a job, but we decided to stay here instead. Cool, cool. And ha when did you start the store? Right when you moved to Steamboat? Yes, right in uh, December of 82, I started opening up a shop. December of 82? Yeah. Cool, was it this location? No, no, no. no. Okay. It was, uh, it was about 100 square foot storage closet in a mountain. Re 100 square feet? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's cool. And was it a rental shop? Were you selling rental, it? Rental, sales, tune-ups, wow. boot fitting, a lot of, sh a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all say, good. Can you say the word? You could say, you could curse, yeah, it's yeah, fine. So <laughs> that little spot. Yeah. And were you boot fitting then, like yes. right away? Yeah. How did you learn boot fitting to begin with? Well, I studied it when we had a shop back east. Um, I started, I was doing some, but I began my formal education in 1976 the Ski Mechanics Workshop with Doug Killam, one cool. of the original boot gurus. Yeah. Doug Killam and Fred Schwacky. Do you have other boot gurus that you feel like people don't know about anymore? People that we should know? Well, those are kind of ones of the past. And Doug Killam is dead. I think Fred Schwacky is still alive. But there are, now I'm studying under the uh, America's Best Boot Fitters. And, uh, Nashville University and yeah, Greg Hoffman and Bob Gleason and uh, Jack Rafferty, those are kind of my new mentors. Cool, right on. And what boots do you ski in? Well, I ski in a couple. I have a, I have a Dabolo and I'm going to ski in this new uh, Pantera 130 this year. Cool. And also I have a, a new Apex and um, and actually, it's going to be a prototype for next year. I'll be skiing in it. Probably shouldn't talk about that. Uh, these guys are hip to that. It's okay. We're going to yeah. film SIA too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Totally <laughs> so I'm skiing Apex in the Del Bella. Cool. Awesome. Um, so we were talking about this a little bit earlier. I just want to throw it in at the end here because we don't want to do a super long interview, let you get back to boot fitting. But in the ski industry in general, we see a move towards sustainability and Magpie is super interested in that, you know, with bamboo ski cores or recycling materials. Um, you don't see a lot of that in the marketing literature around boots um, and bindings, quite frankly. What do you think about that? Do you think there's a place for sustainability in boot fitting? Um, what do you think? you think that'll be a trend in the market coming up here? Or? Yeah, I'm sure that will be uh, coming into the market, but it might be happening right now, we're not aware of it. I'm going to inquire with my reps and see if they know of anything like that happening. And it's a good idea, and it, it, I mean, it probably is, we just don't know about it. And uh, with this new current uh, green thing, I'm sure we'll be getting involved in that. Sure. And I'll fill you in on that. Yeah, totally. No, it's just something we're interested in. Um, sure. And uh, also, just to end here, two more questions. One. You know, a lot of people aren't used to small ski shops, especially if they're visitors. Um, what sets you guys apart? I mean, why do I like One Stop so much, you know? I mean, what is it that you bring to the table that people can't always find at a chain store 
or some huge operation. Did you offer you a beer last time you were here? <laughs> uh, we, we I think you did. That. But, uh, <laughs> well, we're a more personable, we're a knowledgeable shop that it's important to us that your feet are comfortable because it's that is the main part of a ski vacation. If you go out there skiing and your boots hurt you, you're not going to enjoy your ski experience. So that's our our main focus. I'm sure, we have lots of other things to talk about, but ski boots are the most important part of a ski vacation. So it's important that we take care of your feet as best we can. And we can't solve everything and make everybody just perfect. But we sure try to, and we try to go out of our way to make sure your feet are comfortable, feel good, you have proper support, proper stance in your boot, which is real important. And if you don't have those key elements, it could be useless vacation. That's price of a lift ticket and coming out here to ski, what's it worth if you can't go up there and have fun? Or if you can just take a couple runs and call it quits, go to the bar, go shopping, whatever it is. So that's why it's important to us that we make you feel good in your boots, the most important part of a ski vacation, I believe. And talk about the main part of a boot, is the foot that so you don't have a boot you just kind of pissing in the wind yeah totally have you ever quit on a pair of feet have i have you ever found feet that you can't help in all these years yeah i'm sure there are a couple that sometimes people just don't want to ski and boot ailments could be their way out but there are Just a an couple, excuse. Uh, yeah, but there are a couple anatomical things that I can't cure or help. And yeah, there have been a couple spots where I haven't been able to do anything. Really? That does happen once in a while. Can I pull even, out the pictures of ones you did work on, though? <laughs> sure, you can. Are they over here? Sure. Even some of my mentors have said, you know, that's it right there on top of that there are people in this can't fit and just can't take care of this sometimes. And, and tomboy things just don't work. Yeah, totally. Let's pick uh, some good. Yeah. So these are some of the crazy feet that John has helped fit boots for. Some pretty awesome pictures in there. Okay, okay we organize this. Oh, oh here's, a, here's a good here's example. It's a great example. And you successfully made comfortable boots for this foot? I believe Sean did. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of good reviews on Yelp about us, too. Yeah, check them out on Yelp. Really? Oh, good. Thank you. All right, good. final question. So. Much more feet? Oh, sure, we can do a couple more. Oh, yeah. I got this one. Uh, the pictures don't really tell the story, but. Oh, here's a good one. All right, guys, check this out. Oh, <laughs> here's a couple more good ones. Just like that, that's fine. I want that one. Wow. One of those ones. Oh, my God. You can't find it in a real pot. Got it. All right, so I, I like to steal this question from Tim Ferriss. I just think it's a cool question. If you could have a billboard that said anything anywhere, what would it say and where would you put it? Uh, what would it say? Well, the main goal is to make people's feet comfortable, so how would I say that? say um, let us <laughs> it's a tough question yeah <laughs> it is it's a hard one we think uh, we say uh, can you help me Sean yes sir <laughs> what would we say let's say would you repeat that question again if you could have a billboard that said anything and you could put it anywhere what would it say and where would you put it let us it's just let's, a fun one. Let's make you comfortable so you can enjoy your vacation. Fair your enough. Your ski experience. 
Put it right in front of the lift. <laughs> Put it on top of. I don't know. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Eiffel there we Tower. go. It's the most think, logical place. Yeah, I think the, <laughs> the message we want to say is let us make you comfortable so you can enjoy your ski experience because that's what we're talking about. Totally. Awesome. And, and that's the key to it. And where would you put it? Um, where would I put it? Denver have, Airport. Have uh, Statue of Liberty. Have some planes flying around, banners like you do on the beach. Oh yeah. You already have a car that says it. Oh yeah, my car says <laughs> it. Uh, more cars, I say. Yeah, we have a picture case. of that car too. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's John at One Stop Ski Shop. He's an awesome boot fitter. He's in Steamboat Springs, Eric. Colorado, on 11th Street. Come check it out. All right.